video we're going to highlight the basic differences without getting too technical between the N52 and the N54 block. There's been a lot of questions on can you put an N52 head onto an N54 block. On this side we have our N54 block. On this side we have the it's actually an N51 block. Same as an N52, with only difference being the compression, a slight difference in the piston, and an overall engine, the intake manifold in the tune. Now if you look at the deck surfaces on these two blocks, you'll see that the N54 is all alloy. There's no magnesium in the block. For the rest of this video, we'll just refer this to as an N52. Has the center section here, which encompasses the cylinder walls and where the bolt holes do the clamping is Alusil with a magnesium outer case. BMW did this for lightweight and as we go through this video you'll notice everything on the N54 block was built for strength and everything on the N52 block was built for lightweight. Moving forward if we look at the casting of the block and we focus on the front you can see the N52 block has the bosses for the AC compressor where the N54 block does not. Also you can see there's an additional boss here on the N54 block and none present on the N52. The N54 block in between cylinders 3 and 4 is where the coolant pipe is located. On the N52 block right at cylinder 2 is where the coolant pipe is located. So on an N54 block you can see that the motor mount bosses are in the rear and although the motor mount is in the same location on the subframe, the, the bracket itself sweeps forward. On an N52, the motor mount bosses are in the center of the engine. Here's an oil feed boss on an N54 block where it's not present on an N52. You could also see the oil drains that are present on an N54 block for both turbos, which are not present on an N52. And then on the other side of the motor, which in the U.S. would be the driver's side, you can see they're pretty much the same N54 crank position location right below the starter, same on N52. Uh, difference being on the N52, you have a larger coolant drain bolt uh, versus the N54 as a smaller one. Other than that, the back of the block, uh, where the vacuum pump mounts and where the vacuum pump and high pressure pump mounts are what appear to be the same. Okay, now what most people don't know is there's a different bore and stroke between the N54 and the N52. The N54 has a smaller bore, it's 84 millimeters, versus N52 is an 85 millimeter bore. The N54 has a slightly longer stroke to make up for the one millimeter smaller bore. It's an 89.6 millimeter stroke to an 88 millimeter stroke on the N52. Now, why did they do that? If we look here on the deck, so you can see it's roughly a 120 thousandths inch thick sleeve or 3.15 millimeter. And then if we go to the bore size, you can see it's just shy of 84 millimeter. And we go to the N52. And you can see there's an additional millimeter there. It's just shy of 85 millimeter. Obviously, on the N54, they put this here for strength. As we go through this video, you'll see the N54 was built for strength, uh, and the N52 was built for lightweight. Everything about the N54 is stronger and more robust than the N52. All right, moving on to the bottom end of both of these engines. They're both a bed plate design. Uh, both bottom end designs are identical. They have 14 main bolts and 31 perimeter bolts for the bed plate uh, for a total of 45 bolts between uh, the mains and the bed plate. Uh, the main bolt diameters are the same 
size and length between the 52 and the 54, as you can see here. On the N52, we have a cast crank. On the N54, we have a forge crank. You can see slight differences in the counterweights. They're smaller and narrower on the N54, and they're more squared off on the cast N52 crank. And if you look at the back here, N52 with the cast crank is a 6-bolt main. N54 with the forge crank has an 8-bolt. And as you can see, if we were to swap pistons from motor to motor, the N52 piston will not fit in an N54 bore, and vice versa, the N54 piston is extremely loose in the N52 bore. Okay, moving forward to the clamping power of the N54 versus the N52. As you can see, the N54 cylinder head bolt is 11 millimeters in diameter uh, with a 9 millimeter head bolt on the back cylinder, uh, cylinder 6 and cylinder 1 on two of the four bolts versus the N52 is a 10 millimeter head bolt with the same 9 millimeter bolt in cylinder 6 and cylinder one on two of the four bolt holes. If you put them side by side, you can visually see the difference in length and in size of the two bolts. Obviously the N54 is gonna be a stronger bolt and provide more clamping force, just sheer size and length. Next we have the connecting rods. Uh, both have the same journal diameter. Both are forged rods. The N54 has a larger 9mm rod bolt versus the N52 has a smaller 8mm rod bolt. Wrist pin is similar situation. You have the N54 wrist pin on the left versus the N52 wrist pin on the right. N54 is a 22mm wrist pin. N52 is a 20mm wrist pin. Also in size and weight. It's the same scenario. Next we can compare the pistons between the two engines, N54 and N52. Uh, you can see they're completely different in design. Uh, this is a 10 to 1 piston because it's the N50, technically it's the N51 piston. Difference being this chamfered edge here, if it was an N52 piston it would go straight across. You can see it's a little bit thinner between the top ring land and the edge of the piston. N54 piston, the center is dished, makes an area for the combustion to occur for the high pressure injection. Uh, smaller valves, you can see the valve reliefs are smaller on the N54 versus the N52. And fairly similar design on the bottom with the N50 two slash one piston being a lot thinner here on the ring lines than the N54 piston. Next we're going to talk about the two differences between the head gaskets N52 versus the N54. Obviously the bore diameter is going to be different between the two gaskets. The first thing that jumps out at us is the openings for the coolant passages are a lot larger on the N52 versus the N54. Uh, the next major difference is this piece of rubber that is around the perimeter of the head gasket of the N52 which is not present on the N54. My thought on this is to keep water ingress uh, to prevent the similar metal corrosion between the steel gasket and the magnesium block. Uh, it's why all these motors have uh, aluminum bolts that hold them together. Um, if you lay the two gaskets over the top of each other, let me go this way here. You can see all the bolt holes line up, uh, the, all the passageways line up. 
uh, there's just varying differences in size. So let's move over to the blocks themselves. So here we have the N54 head gasket on top of the N54 block. If we remove this gasket and move it over to the N52, you can see that everything lines up all around the perimeter, the embossments of the block itself, and along the edges. Now, you couldn't run this gasket without sleeving this block and taking the bore size from an 85 to an 84 millimeter. So that wouldn't be an option. If we go the other way around, we have the N52 head gasket here. If we move that to the N54, you see it's the same scenario. Everything lines up around the perimeter. Now there are some differences here. If you see the block hangs over the edge inside on all the drain backs. They line up on the other side of the motor. If we flip the gasket over, you could see at the end of the day it probably would not be an issue. Uh, this follows this design here and this is all made, this rubber here is made to seal. But again, you wouldn't want to put an N52 gasket on an N54 because the the bore diameter is wrong. So there's been a lot of talk about putting an N52 head onto an N54 block. Again, this video is a uh, basic, not too technical video just to show the differences between the two blocks. Uh, we do have an N52 head that I'm going to put on this block to show you that it will fit. Uh, now, saying that, if you visually look at the top of the piston on an N54, it has this dish where the N52 piston does not. What the compression ratio would be, I do not know because I haven't CC'd the head on both of the motors and I haven't CC'd the top of the piston on both of the motors. But obviously it would be lower seeing that it's a dish piston on the N54. So if you're still thinking about putting an N52 head on an N54 block, we have an N52 head here with an N54 head gasket. If you lay them over the top, you can see the bolt holes line up. These here are half covered. These are coolant drains. You would need to modify the gasket slightly. Also, this coolant drain is covered. At the end of the day, it would probably be in your best interest to have a custom head gasket made, seeing as how this gasket was not designed for this cylinder head. Okay, so lastly, will the N52 head fit onto the N54 block? The answer to that is yes. We line up the dowels. You can see all the casting lines up perfectly all the way around the front cover and then same on the exhaust now with that being said the back two bolts and the front two bolts are the same on N52 and N54 the rest of the bolts the N52 you would need to drill out the bolt hole to accommodate because it will not work into the head Okay, to sum it all up, N54 versus N52, N54 steel liner, N52 no liner, N54 84 millimeter bore, N52 85 millimeter bore, 89.6 millimeter stroke, 88 millimeter stroke, all aluminum block, aluminum with magnesium block, forged crank, cast crank, larger rod bolts, larger head bolts, 
smaller rod bolts, smaller head bolts. Completely different casting design on the exterior of the block as far as coolant port location and oil drains built in for the turbo. Which is stronger? Obviously the N54 is stronger all the way around. How strong is the N52? We're about to find that out with our turbo kit. Like and subscribe to the video. Appreciate you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more updates to come on further development of the N52.